Hi everyone, uh, today here we have the Talos T60X. We want to show you how to do a first flight with a great drone like the Talos T60X. And I just want to open it up, put the battery on and add some water to it for this test and see how fast can we create an automatic route mission for this area that is about like an, an acre or an acre and a half. So we take out these protective foams that are protecting the propellers while you carry your drone around. Take out this one too. Opening the propellers again, like, like any other drone, like when you open the propellers, you don't have to have them exactly at 180. As long as they're open, they go into the position because of the center of gravity. Again, on the Talos T60X, it doesn't matter if you open the front arm first, the back arm first, it's all gonna work for you. So, you open this one. So I will take these things, put them away. All right, before I put the water, first I will put the battery in because we don't want a liquid, water, chemical, anything like that get on the connectors where the battery connects to. So first we place the battery and the battery on the Talos T60X has these clips here that will connect the battery to uh, the frame of the drone and when you want to take it out there is no button on the battery you can just pull it oh, it's like that. let us have it <laughs> we close it so i will open the let me just open the the cap here and start pouring it has a very wide opening So as you can see, like when I pour something in it, there might be a spillage like that, it's a spilling. And when we have the battery, those connectors are safe. One down. We do another one. So usually like you want to mix the chemical in a larger tank and uh, let's say like 80 gallon, 180 gallon, like depending on your operation, right? So you will mix all the material in a larger tank and then you want to pump it to this because every flight is less than seven to 10 minutes. You don't need to agitate the chemical inside the tank of the drone. So you are doing all the agitation in a bigger tank where your ground station is. more right now it's just a test so we're adding some water okay now we added enough water for our test it's about so the tank is a 50 liter tank. If we come here, we can see on the side, close this. So 50 liter would be up to here. We are right now between 40 to 45. However, we have a bigger tank that will be 60 liter. We entered the password and we are in and we are connected to the internet. We use the hotspot from a phone to connect to the internet. And you only need internet for logging in. I, if I disconnect it right now, I can still fly the drone with no issues. So I press begin. So we are here. We already created a field. So I go here to the route mode. This is the field we created, but I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one and recreate it. We press add, we use this 
crosshair here, add, 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 and I can click here, move it up, and then I can tap on one edge, but first I will select this, I will tap on one edge, it creates it, but it's not 100% aligned here. Move it there, so it's pretty good right now. The drone will take off, go to the first point, which is the green, green point, and then it will end here. We can switch the start point if you want to, but for now it's good. If you wanted to add obstacles, we could do them here too. So we save it, we call it test three and save so now that we have this we just need to power on the drone so to power on the drone and arm the motors we will press on the power button once and press and hold it and again we make sure it's connected because it makes a clicking sound when it connects to the drone when the battery connects to the drone okay so now that we created this map our drone is ready, the map is ready, we press use. So here you can select, uh, let's say we say four gallons. We reduce that to 50 micrometer. That is the spray droplet size. So when we have all of that, everything is ready. Now the start point is actually here on the second row. So here we are going to press start. It will give us some options such as like the fact that the radar is on, obstacle bypassing is disabled. We don't have obstacles in this flat field here. So we are going to, because we have to change them in the settings here. So I'm going to slide. It's ready to take off. Oh, good. So now I'm going to increase the speed to the max. On the way back, yeah, he, well, it actually does this one. So now we are increasing the speed for three gallon per acre, the max is 23.6 feet per second. On, the, on another row, I'm going to decrease the application rate right now. I'm working on it to two gallons per acre and then see what is the max. So now the max speed is 45.3 feet per second so we will see the speed here the runway is short however you can see it made it to 40 almost 43 and it's doing a great job of speeding up the acceleration is a lot better than other brands that I've worked with yeah because this is a short runway and on the screen recording you will be able to see right here it reaches at about 44 feet per second and it doesn't have enough time to keep going at that speed but hopefully we will test it later on at a bigger field so I now the task is finished it's coming back home and now when it gets down here, we will allow and confirm that it can land here, there is no issues. So it was about one acre and we were, as you saw, like we were testing at one row, we sprayed about uh, 
three gallons per acre, then we reduced it to, oh, I'm sorry, four gallons per acre, then we reduced it to two gallons per acre. But what I wanted to see was the speed. The 45.3 uh, feet per second is something that will increase the efficiency, especially in larger fields, row crops, corn fields, all of that because the speed matters. And uh, on orchard, maybe you don't even get to that speed because you have to increase the rate or gallon per acre that you're spraying. However, for again, like cornfields or row crops or vegetables, when you spray a lower amount, let's say you're spraying fungicide on your corn and it's, you're only spraying two gallons per acre, you can go at the max speed, even with the two sprayer nozzle setup. If you want to spray a little bit more and you still want to go at the max speed, which is like roughly 30 miles per hour, you can actually add the 60 liter tank plus the other two nozzles on the drone. Thank you for watching.